start there. How important was it for you guys to get the win for them? Oh, that's what JB said in the locker room, that we just wanted to come out and, you know, just show out for our fans one last time. Uh, we've had a ton of injuries. Uh, we don't feel like our record is indicative of how, how good of a team we are, our cohesiveness, how together we are. So, you know, we felt like tonight was a, a really good showing against a Boston team that's, you know, playing it playing for, for meaningful games. You know, they're in that playing game uh, as of right now. So to get a win here in our home court, our last game here um, at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse, it was big for us. You alluded to it, Kevin. I mean, the injuries that you guys have dealt with, not just in the last few games, but the entire season, you could have used that as an excuse. Yet and still, you guys don't. A lot of guys getting minutes that they weren't expecting to get in this season. What stands out to you about how you guys were able to rally together tonight? Well, we've had a lot of guys step up. I mean, we've been so down. We've had, you know, a game in Washington where we had three concussions and and Larry go down with this thumb. We've had injuries throughout, uh, you know, pretty much started with me, but, you know, no, other guys have stepped up. We've had our young guys, you know, whether it be J.A., whether it be Ice and, and his growth, whether it be D.G., Colin, you know, different guys stepping up throughout. And, you know, you saw last game, our boy Dean Wade stepped up, had a big double-double. Uh, just all throughout the lineup, different guys just, just showing out for us and stepping up when uh, others have had injuries. So it's it's been that type of year. But, you know, we, hopefully we can we can take this home win, we can take these last two wins and just, uh, or excuse me, last two games and just build on it. Kevin, you talked about everybody but yourself. I think you took a sip from the fountain of you tonight, your <laughs> best output of the season. What does it feel like for you? What was different for you tonight? I uh, just had a good rhythm. Uh, you know, there's times where, you know, I feel like I'm forcing my shot, but uh, tonight I felt like I was in good rhythm. Uh, you know, since I've been back from injury, I haven't been able to get my legs underneath me, feel a little bit off balance. So this is going to be a major off season for all of us, myself included. But uh, again, just to win on our home floor on fan appreciation night, it's, you know, this is always a great thing for us. Kevin, this is the first time that Tristan was able to come back and play in front of these fans in an opposing uniform, which is so strange. It seems like he was up to his old tricks as well with you guys battling on the floor. Uh, what was it like just competing against him? And then can you speak to uh, what you guys were able to bring to this city in 2016? Yeah, just, uh, I mean, it felt like we were battling back in practice again. You know, I used to, there's some days where we'd have, you know, five games and, and seven nights or you know, four and five, whatever it may be, a couple back-to-backs in a row, and Tristan come in there and just just beat everybody up. So to see him in an opposing jersey, it just obviously felt different, but the love never leaves. That friendship, that brotherhood never leaves. Same thing with, with Bron leaving, Kyrie, different guys throughout. And, you know, in 2016, you look up here, we you know, have our championship banner, um, all the Eastern Conference finals that, that we've won, and it's just special. I mean, you see guys like that, and that's a, that's a forever thing. That's a brotherhood that can't be broken. Kevin, thanks so much for your time. Great win for you guys. Let's keep it going. Appreciate it. Thanks, Andrew.